Hello all. In this video, we will explore common errors and warnings that occur while working with Angular applications, specifically in versions 18 and 19. So to demonstrate this, I have created a project called Angular 19. And if you take a look at the package.json file, you can confirm that this project is running on Angular version 19. So let's start with first error that is ng8001 unknown HTML element or component. So here ng prefix indicates it's an Angular error and 8001 specifically refers to an unknown HTML element or component issue. And this error typically occurs when you create a new component and try to use its selector in another component without importing it. In this case, you will encounter the ng8001 error which states that component name is not a known element. And to fix this, simply import the new component into the imports array of the other component. Let's recreate this error in Angular 19 application. And to do this here, I'll generate a new component named test using command ng generate component, component name test. And inside this component.ts file, here you can find the selector of test component. Now, in order to render this test component inside app component, what I'll do, I'll just add the selector of test component inside this app.component.html file. App test. Now, save the changes and I'll run this project with command ngs. And here you can see, as expected, this will result ng8001 error indicating that the test component is not a known element. And to resolve this issue, we need to import this test component into the imports array of app component that is in the app.component.html file. So here I'll add test component. Now save the changes and this time you can see no error in the terminal. Now I'll open browser on localhost 4200. And here we can see that the test component has been successfully rendered in the browser. Now let's move on to discuss the warning that is TS998113. Imports array contains unused imports. TS stands for TypeScript. So this is a TypeScript error code that is often encountered in Angular projects. Starting from Angular version 19, the Angular CLI will report a warning for unused imports. For example, we are imported a module or component in our imports array but we are not actually using it anywhere in our application. And in order to resolve this error, simply remove the unused imports from the imports array. So this will help keep our code clean and organized and prevents unnecessary imports from overloading your imports array. Like in our Angular 19 application, inside app.component.html file, we have used router outlet directive. And what is the use of router outlet? It is a placeholder directive that specifies where routed component should be rendered. But in this Angular 19 application, we don't have any routed component. So if we remove this router outlet directive from this app.component.html file, and after saving these changes, we will encounter the warning TS998113, which indicates unused imports. And here you can read the error. Router outlet is not used within the template of app component. And as discussed earlier, in order to resolve this error, we just need to remove the unused imports from this imports array. That's it. Now save the changes and you will see that error has disappeared. Okay. Now let's discuss one more error that is null injector error. No provider found for the requested service. And this error occurred when Angular tries to create an instance of a service. It looks for a provider that can create the service. And if you can't find a provider, then it throws a null injector error. And to resolve this error, in Angular 19, we need to add the HTTP client provider using provide HTTP client function inside the providers array in app.config.ts file. And to replicate this, I'll make an HTTP get call request to the dummy JSON placeholder API. So here inside app.component.ts file, I'll paste the code for HTTP get request. 
So here you can see I have injected HTTP client through constructor and inside this get data method I made an HTTP get request to get all data from this dummy JSON placeholder API. Now save the changes and here inside terminal you can see a null injector error has displayed and to resolve this error what we need to do we need to add provide HTTP clients inside app.config.ts file. So here I'll use provide HTTP client function and which is importing from at the rate angular slash common slash HTTP. Now save the changes and here you can see inside console this time we are not getting any error. Okay, now let's go back to PPT and let's cover one more error that is NG8103. And again NG stands for angular. So this is an angular warning code and which indicates missing control flow directive. So in Angular 19, every component is standalone by default. And when a standalone component uses control flow directive, such as ng if, ng for, ng switch in its template, the ng8103 error is triggered. So we can resolve this error in two different ways, using individual imports or using common module import. Individual imports means we can import each control flow directive individually. For example, if a component uses ng if, ng for, and ng switch directive, then we would need to import all ng if, ng for, and ng switch modules inside this imports array. And the second way is common module import. So here we can import the entire common module, which indicates all the standard Angular directives including control flow directives. And this approach is often more convenient as it eliminates the need for individual imports. And to replicate this issue, what I'll do, we have just made the HTTP get call. So we have all the users data from this API to this user data variable. So what I'll do with the help of ng4 directive, we will display the username in the browser. So here inside app.component.html file, I'll paste the code for ng4 directive. Now, after saving these changes, you can see that I'll encounter an error or warning ng8103 stating the ng4 directive was used in the template, but neither the ng4 directive nor the common module was imported. So to resolve this issue, what I'll do, I'll just import the ng4 module inside this import array. Okay, now save the changes, go back to browser. And here you can see we are getting the list of users in the browser. Okay, but here if I'll create a Boolean variable named is active of type Boolean equals to true. And I'll use this variable inside app.component.html file to display some text. So here inside the h2 tag, I'll write star ng if equals to I'll use the is active and here I'll write text. Welcome to FAD learning. Now save the changes and you can see this time we have encountered an another error stating the ngf directive was used in the template, but neither the ngf directive nor the common module was imported. And to resolve this error, now I can import the ng if module inside this imports array. Now save the changes and error has disappeared. But instead of importing this each control flow directive individually, we can also include the common module, which includes all standard Angular directives. Now save the changes and go back to browser. This time we can see the output without error. Okay, so in this video, we have covered four common angular errors first ng8001 unknown html elements or component second ts998113 imports array contains unused imports third null injector error this will occur when no provider found for the requested service and last we have seen ng8103 missing control flow directive so that's all for now i hope you found this video informative and helpful if yes, please do like, share and subscribe to FAD Learning for more useful content on front-end development. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.